what's happening everybody welcome back to get after it diy um, i'm here at my house build and today i am installing my propane line um, i'm gonna do fusion to fuse my riser to my pipe that i've got right here this is medium density polyethylene pipe um, i've run about I'd say 40 feet here maximum, maybe 50 feet, not very long. I've decided to go with three quarter inch line. Typically, they're gonna run a half inch line. I went with three quarter in case down the road I ever want a little bit more load um, or tie into it closer to the house um, and go to say a hot tub or a sauna or anything that might need some propane, barbecue pit, what have you. Anyway, um, so today, we're gonna be attaching this three quarter inch riser that connects to our carrier pipe. And this is what they're going to tie in to the propane tank. And I also have one up at the house side up there. Um, you can, from any big box store or anywhere that you go and get your pipe, you can get these mechanical fittings, home flex, underground. This is a three quarter coupler. Um, that will attach this pipe here. They are underground rated, um, but in my opinion, anytime you can eliminate a mechanical fitting, it's better. So today we're gonna be using a butt fusion machine. We're basically gonna be melting the two pipes together. Uh, so let me show you how to do it. Let's get into this. So basically we're gonna take this we're gonna find exactly where we want it. I know I'm going to be coming up on my ground level. So I'm gonna find exactly where we wanna do it. And we're gonna take a quick measurement here on where we want it. Allow ourselves a good three quarters of an inch. And we're gonna cut that off with our PE cutters. Mark it there. And these are super simple, guys. These are just, you can get these anywhere. They're just some PE cutters. You can use them for cutting PAX piping for plumbing or PE or anything like that. So get our measurement here. Exactly where we want it. Give that a snip. Okay, get rid of our extra. And there's a couple items that you're gonna need and I believe I, I happen to do this uh, for a living. So I have access to all the gear, um, but I believe you can go rent the gear at most plumbing supply stores as far as like a commercial grade plumbing supply store. Um, some of your rental yards will have fusion gear um and like i said i think it's a lot better than you're eliminating a failure spot for the most part i mean a fuse can fail but you're definitely eliminating a mechanical fitting that's getting buried in the ground for failing so we're gonna need a couple things this is called a mini mac it's a handheld unit um Riser is going to go in one side. I typically will put my riser in the side that moves. This side here that moves, slides in and out. I will put my pipe that's buried in the ground on my fixed side. You're going to want to install this. Get you a nice rag. Make sure all your dirt and mud's off of there. I like to install it kind of on its side. Just like so. You're gonna want about a pinky finger width from the inside edge of your pipe to the edge of your mini Mac. And that's gonna give you room to face to make it nice and square. Do the same thing here with your riser, your nice clean rag 
Always use a clean rag. Wipe that bad boy off. Get your riser. And I'll butt that thing all the way up. Put my jaw on loose. And squeeze until you get just about three quarters of an inch or a pinky width on there. Tighten it up. Try to get it as square as you possibly can. I'm gonna turn this a little bit. It's nice to have a partner, if you're, especially if you're doing this for the first time by yourself. And then you got a facer. Here's a facer, there's different models of this, okay? And you have inserts right here for each pipe size. I'm using three quarter inch and they just insert right on the inside, right on the inside. You're gonna take your facer and you're gonna throw your facer. Now I've got a little bit too much sticking out. There we go. Just like that. Tighten her back up. You don't want to tighten your jaws so tight that you're egging the pipe out, but tighten your jaws just enough so that it's going to hold the pipe because you're going to put a decent amount of pressure on it when you go to actually make your fuse and you don't want your pipe to slip in your jaws. Take your facer and throw your facer in there. Squeeze your jaws together. And most of them are just a little ratchet style. So you're gonna ratchet it until everything's nice and faced up. And you'll see the pipe coming out in these curly cues. You're gonna face it until those curly cues stop coming out. If you stop before that and you try to make your fuse, one side of your fuse is gonna be a lot less than the other side. So once it's all stopped facing, you're gonna pull your facer out. Gonna do a pre-fit on that. You wanna make sure that everything is going to work. And then we'll grab our iron. I've actually got a little bit more facing to do on this. Make sure all your curly cues are kind of out of there because Yeah, I had just a little bit of an edge on there that wasn't set and just flush. You don't want to see any daylight through your mock-up when you go to fit it together. Everything needs to fit nice and flush in there. You want to take your time and make sure you get everything nice and flush. This really is not that hard, guys, and I know all the professionals out there are going to be like, oh, this is a good, sweet video, bro. But anyway, this is the best way to, to do a pipe connection for a propane line, and it is not that hard. So we've got a nice flush. Even you want to check it with your finger, and if you feel any ridges, your fit up is not right. So you want it needs to be nice, and just you can barely feel the edge of that pipe all the way around, okay? You're going to take your iron and you're going to want to check your manufacturer specifications, but typically they're going to be between 425 and 500 degrees is what people are going to tell you. We run our irons 425 plus or minus 10. That's our, that's our code. Um, but the pipe 
will have its own specified heat temperature range for the pipe you're using. <clears throat> you're gonna take this, this iron has got notches in it, okay? And it's gonna set right in the middle of your mini Mac. It's just gonna sit right in there. You're not gonna put much pressure on this iron at all. The pressure is gonna be on the handle of your mini Mac, of your jig. And now they make jigs that are with a big long handle and a lot of people like those. I like this little jig because I can get it into these small bell holes. I don't need to dig it around. I don't need to set a big jig down on the ground. This is my preferred jig. Now, if you're a beginner, absolutely get the big jig. It sets on the ground, it's super easy. You're not fooling with anything. You're not moving your iron around. You just set that thing in there and squish it together a little bit, let the rollback happen, pull it back, squish it together. So we're gonna take our clean rag, wipe the face of your pipe, make sure you got no dirt in the inside of your pipe, take your iron, and I'm not moving my jig much at all, okay? I'm just gonna set that iron right in there, and I'm gonna hold this until I see about a 16th inch of rollback on my pipe. I wanna make sure that my iron isn't setting too much on, it's even pressure, you're not pushing it down, it's, it's gonna wanna fall down. So you wanna make sure you're keeping even pressure on it, look at your rollback, make sure you don't have any gaps, count to thir about 30 seconds. In my opinion, you know, if, if this is your first time fusing, let it soak for a little bit longer than you think. Get your roll back. Don't put too much pressure on your jaws. If you put too much pressure on your jaws, you're gonna get cupping on the inside of your melt and then you're gonna have a bad fuse. Okay, you're gonna pop your iron out, look at the inside, make sure it's not cupped out and slowly push, slowly push it together. If you slam it together, you're gonna push all that melt out. You're gonna have a bad fuse. Now, is it gonna fail? Probably not, but it's still gonna be, it won't be a good solid fuse. You wanna, you wanna just slowly squish it together. You're gonna see that rollback come back on each pipe. It needs to be nice and even. And if it's not, you've got a foot and a half of pipe to play with. You cut it out and try again. But that's it guys, it's that easy. It is that easy to fuse a piece of pipe together. Now. <clears throat> they were going to charge me $750 to set this propane line and make two fuses on two risers. And I'm in it probably the pipe and the two risers. I bet you I'm in it $125 to $200 maximum. I think I'm off on that quite a bit. Um, but it's really not that hard. If you like this kind of stuff, like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. And uh, y'all have a good day.